Okay, Brian. So, you measured the mass of this galaxy. What answer did you get? So I went out and looked at how much light there was, and I added all the light up. And when I added it all up, I found out that this galaxy has 1.8 times 10 to the 10 solar masses. It's a big number. 18 billion times the mass of the sun. It's a pretty hefty chunk of stuff there. So, well, Paul, what did you get when you went out and measured its gravity? Well, from gravity I got an answer that wasn't that different. In my case, 32 billion times the mass of the sun. So, a bit bigger than what you got, but given the rather large uncertainties well known in astronomy, uh, that's not too bad. So, so that means that when we see stars, the mass seems to add up more or less to what we see in this galaxy. Yep. However, there is a big caveat here. Uh, what I was measuring, this is measuring just the mass within this radius, the radius where the stars are shining, so about ah. 10 kiloparsecs around the centre. But what you can see, if you look in the radio image, that was the previous image where all the stars are, but if you look in the radio, you can see that the gas extends much further out, you know, two times further out. So what I was also able to do, because when I, when I use the velocity of the gas around here, that's telling me how much matter is within the central region. And we got about the same as what you did. Yeah. But then, if I tried it out here, the gas doesn't add up to very much mass, so you'd think you'd get the same answer. But, in fact, if I measure the mass from the gas on the real outskirts, up here and down there, I get a very much bigger number. Ooh, 13.2 times 10 to the 10. So that's like a factor of 6 more than what I saw from my light. Yes, so it seems that when we're just looking in the central regions, where the stars are, um, the total mass is measured by the gravity, and the amount of mass calculated in your method using the stars give about the same answer, maybe a little bit more. But well, all is good. If we'd stopped there, we wouldn't think there was a problem. But when we go further out, as these huge gas clouds allow us to do so, things get worse and worse and worse. On the bigger and bigger scales, the mass just keeps on going up. So it seems to imply that this galaxy is surrounded by huge amounts of something dark. Not too much in the middle, but just goes out a lot further than the stars. So, as we go farther out from a galaxy, we encounter something which we're going to call dark matter. Stuff which is pulling on the galaxy, like Paul measured, but which I can't see based on the light coming from the galaxy. 